Let's take a quick look at artboards and why artboards are such a powerful feature in Illustrator. You need to think of your artboard as you would a page in Microsoft Word or a physical page on your desk. They pretty much represent the principal or exported area of your work. And this means that the space surrounding your artboard is yours to develop your designs or bring in your reference material, while the artboard is the frame of your final design. This means you can have all the elements of your project within one Illustrator file for really easy access, as opposed to having multiple files with different segments of your work in it. You can create, mess around, try different things, all while keeping the integrity of your artwork on the artboard intact. They can be different sizes and orientations, and you can have up to a thousand separate artboards within one Illustrator document. And like you can see here, it's really easy to resize your work and artboards within Illustrator at any time. It's always best to begin work within the same size as your exported artwork will need to be. Resizing and formatting an existing piece of art can be really time consuming if your orientation differs from the original size to your new size. For example, if I create anything for Instagram, I'll always create my work within an artboard of 1200 by 1200 pixels. So when I export, the work is perfectly sized for Instagram. This project is an example of one where I wanted to create a simple Halloween themed vector scene. When I later decided to put it on my Instagram, I not only had to resize the artwork, but I had to reformat it to fit a square canvas as opposed to a nice long portrait canvas. And this meant a lot of moving things around, changing the actual integrity of the original design. And when I did that, I actually found that the work didn't work as well on a square canvas. And because it didn't work as well, I found I needed to add more elements to my design to make it work better on a square canvas. And this is bound to happen when you change the fundamentals of your work. So try to negate this by creating your designs to their correct aspect ratio right from the start. When it comes to exporting your work, working with artboards makes this an absolute breeze. In this example, I have two slightly different logo designs. One needs to be 1200 by 1200 and the other needs to be smaller at 500 by 500. So instead of creating one design, exporting it to that size and then resizing my art and my artboard for the next design, all I have to do is create two separate artboards for each of the designs. I'll go to file, Export, Export As, select where I want to save it, choose an appropriate name, and then I want to select Use Artboards. And this will ensure that Illustrator only exports what is within the artboards. If unchecked, your entire work area will be exported. And remember, if you're exporting your work for digital use, always use 72 DPI for screens. This will ensure your native size remains the same. So if I hover over this work that was exported at 500 by 500, we can see that the dimensions are exactly as we specified on the artboard. If I had to increase the DPI for a digital design, it will bloat my graphic, making the size increase. So only export in 300 DPI when creating art specifically for print. If it's digital, ignore it, always 72. Using artboards is crucial when working in Illustrator, especially if you need to create different sized versions of the same design. And used correctly, they can make your workflow so much smoother. That's about it for this video. Be sure to come back for more tutorials and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.